so things I'm building are, I am building a comic book washing machine. I am building a pressure sensor. I am building an ozone chamber. I'm building a light chamber, which incidentally, it's been long known since the 30s that visible light does help to, uh, you know, bleach paper and uh, UV light helps to darken paper. So um, these kind of things I've, I've been working on since, gosh, it's been a while. I've been since like 2012. And I've never really just tinkered around with it for myself. I've never really thought about bringing it to market before. But now I have an eye towards that because I can't spend $1,500 each in front on each one to sell to people. So uh, I've been working on those and I'm getting closer to something. I'm, I'm getting better at developing them and I'm getting closer to making bringing them to market. So if you want to see this, this is part of one of the fi final three Saturn V rockets that was not launched. This one is in NASA Houston at the Johnson Space Center. The other one is in, one's in Florida, of course. I think the other one is in, I forget where it is. I think it's maybe at Redstone in Tennessee. But here's the first stage. You can see the bad boy here. And it's big, of course, taller than the Statue of Liberty. Stage one was uh, liquid oxygen and their RP-1 propellant, which is similar to the kerosene, honestly. And as we move up, you can see the second stage here. You lose this guy to the ocean. And here is the second stage. Look at that big guy. Look at all those tanks. Look at all this pre computer. Look at how many circuit boards you see. Very few. Right. And we get up here, you can see that all of this would fall away. And we have, this was the liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen propellant stage here. And we would get to the third stage, and this is where it gets interesting. Well, not just in anything. There's the lunar insertion module. This made the, you know, this part made the trip to the moon, which took them, I think, four days third stage and then you would have the service module and the command module and so up in here is where you'd see the lunar the lunar lander you go up in this part and you'd have the um, so that's the command module and service module we we'll go up in this section here right there we go right there right so that's the service module and then the lander goes in this middle part here oh here's a little drawing of it here all right so you guys can see what's going on right there so you have the command module on the front which is that rusty part and then the service module and then the lunar module which is the part and then the lander the landing module it's but obviously the landing it's would sit the landing module would sit here and then this is the service module that would orbit uh, the planet and then this part would go back to earth this, this this launch escape system this long skinny thing in the front is what in case something went wrong this whole section would break off and float the parachuting would float back down to earth during launch this get the launch escape was removed pretty much immediately you know, after launch within just a few moments and yeah that's I like that it's something to see right Gosh, every time I see this, and I've already been this is my third time this year already, I just, I can't get enough of it. I uh, just, the one in um, at uh, NASA in Florida, you can eat underneath it. They have like tables set up. It's presented a little better, but I still, I still can't get over this. This is 20th century history right here in a, in a way that, you know, really moves me every time I see it in a way that touches my soul that I was, I was not born yet when this launched or this would have, when this would have launched, I would have been born. But I'm actually almost glad that it didn't go because now I get to see this and I get to see it in a way that I, I really wouldn't have otherwise. And this is uh, <laughs> clearly a very big, very big deal for me. And there's Apollo 11, look at that. Apollo 11, wow. 
Yeah. yeah. And uh, it takes a while even just to walk around the thing. It's so huge. It's the uh, world's most, still the world's largest rocket. I'm not sure if it's the world's most powerful still. But the world's largest. And, uh, for those of you who never get to see it in person, then uh, there we go. There's White Grissom Chaffee. Gosh, the tragedy. Uh, for those guys. And, uh, it's a. Uh, you know those F1 engines, dear lord. Think of this, and not only that, think of that they had never done it before, right? That's the other thing to realize. We were the first people to do it. We, we. I'm just going to say Americans, but we humans on Earth did this. So cool.